What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you um, Loop Master's new Loop Cloud application. So, uh, it's a standalone app, and it allows you to preview all types of sounds. You have the bass, uh, drums, cymbals, effects, guitar sounds, keyboards, mallets, synth strings, vocals, and of course, you know, there are loops. So, um, you can preview whatever you want. <laughs> and you don't have to commit to purchasing, it, purchasing the sound until you feel like it fits your beat. So, um, I'm going to show you... <laughs> No. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in no. reason. I'm gonna move this over for a second no. and it populates as a VST no. called Loop Cloud no. under Loop Masters no. and let me turn off this annoying vocal. Awesome. It is paused. Okay. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like and I'm gonna keep this open. I'm also gonna screenshot it because I have not done it yet. And um, there it goes. And uh, now I can bring this back up. Keep this open. And now I can cycle through whatever I want. Let's go. Uh, come out of vocals. And let's just go to the Loop Cloud Welcome Pack. These are... I believe these ones are free, so let's check these ones out. Um, loops. And we could just close this tab. And let's see, music loops. And let's preview what's in there. Like this one. And then we see that this has the audio coming through it so it's really awesome it connects to the standalone app so that you can go through the loop master so the loop cloud store while you're while you're crafting your beat <clears throat> under this section right here key and bpm you can select the key that you want your melody to be in can select match tempo and it will match it to the tempo that you have in reason as long as you I guess set it yourself yeah cool so if I was to come back to reason and turn on my click track pressing C it's completely synced. Um, you can pitch it up down here. You can change the speed. You could change the pattern. Um, if you want to preview a kick or something, it will only play like the beginning region as if it was a kick pattern. Um, keep it on loop mode for this. So with that being said, since I have it, let's go ahead and start to craft some drums around it. I'm gonna be using the new drum sequencer to get something started, so let's get into that. I'm gonna place my snare.
turn on some repeats here. Looks like uh, my repeats are interfering with the beginning, the downbeat note. That's the uh, downfall or drawback of uh, the drum sequencer. All right, just gonna ignore that for now. Um, let's get some drums in here. Uh, I'm gonna go through the presets and find this right here. I'm actually meant to put that here, so. Let's go ahead and clear this one. And I'm gonna go back to preset this hi-hat here and I'm going to go down to my NNXT and turn the release all the way up so I get the full open hat playing. Cool. I'm um, going to go to the copy and paste drop down and copy this hi-hat and paste it on pattern 2 and 3 and 4. And then as for my hi-hat I'll just put that in myself. And I'm going to add another one here and add repeats because the repeats make it sound like it's changing pitch. I'm going to get rid of these repeats here. That's annoying. <laughs> that it won't play on the downbeat. And uh, let's give this a lower velocity and less of these. Okay, cool. We have a basic drum beat here. And uh, now we can do it. We can also do whatever we want to this loop. So let's add, let's go ahead and route it to my melody group and we can add halftime. We can turn on Looperator instead, we can use whatever we want to use. and process it as if it's a loop or rex file, whatever the case may be that already exists in reason outside of loop masters. play around with it find some dope and hey let's say that I like this sample what do I do next so I'm back in the loop cloud window and the next thing I want to do is come down here and just click download HQ file downloading downloading Taking a while, taking a while. Awesome. And now all we have to do is drag and drop the sample into our sequencer. So, um, we 
we could take the processed one or we could take the original one. I'm going to take the processed one. And it sounds like this. So we have our sample. And now all I'm going to do is route this to the same melody group I have. And I can turn the loop cloud off now because it is now a audio file and I no longer need this VST unless I decide to find more sounds with it. I'm going to turn it down from the sequencer. So there you have it. That is how you use um, this loop cloud that was created by Loop Masters. I think it was really genius. It's definitely more stream flowed than Splice or Sounds.com because you can integrate it within your DAW. Of course, with all those other ones, you could essentially also drag and drop, but they do not have this preview option. Uh, they didn't go as in depth as Loop Cloud did. So this is definitely a game changer. Um, I expect nothing but great things with this. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up. Thank <music> you.